What are the main responsibilities of a second officer on board a ship? As a second officer, I am mainly responsible for navigation planning and execution, updating charts and publications, and GMDSS operations. I also assist in bridge watchkeeping, maintain navigational equipment, and ensure the ship complies with maritime laws and international regulations. Can you explain how you prepare for a voyage passage plan? I prepare a passage plan in four stages. Appraisal. Gather all necessary info. Charts, weather, tides, notices to mariners. Planning. Plot courses. Identify no-go areas. Calculate ETAs. Execution. Share with the master. Confirm via ECDIS or radar. Monitoring. Continuously check vessel's position and update if needed. What steps do you take to correct charts and publications? I use weekly notices to mariners and apply corrections to paper charts using pencil and chart correction log, ECDIS via weekly updates or ENC corrections. I ensure that publications like NPs, ALRS, and sailing directions are also updated. What is your action during man overboard on your watch? Shout, man overboard, and press the MOB button on GPS. Turn the vessel using Williamson turn or Anderson turn. Sound the alarm and notify the master. Keep visual contact and deploy life buoy with light or smoke. Prepare rescue equipment and record all actions in the logbook. How do you handle GMDSS equipment testing? I conduct regular tests on EPIRB, monthly self-test, check expiry, SART, monthly self-test, VHF, MF, HF, radios, daily checks, Inmarsat C, test sending logs receiving messages weekly, record all results in the GMDSS logbook. What is the procedure if you encounter restricted visibility? Reduce speed, post extra lookouts. Turn on navigation lights and sound signals as per Colreg's Rule 35. Monitor radar and AIS continuously. Notify the master and record in the logbook. Can you explain Rule 19 of the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea? Rule 19 deals with vessels not in sight of one another in restricted visibility. All vessels must proceed at a safe speed have engines ready, and take avoiding action based on radar or compass bearings. What is ISM code and why is it important? The ISM code, International Safety Management Code, ensures safe operation of ships and prevention of pollution. It establishes a safety management system, SMS, to ensure accountability, documentation, and compliance on board. What would you do if you noticed a junior officer violating safety procedures? First, I would correct the unsafe act immediately to prevent accidents. Then, I would discuss the issue privately, remind them of the safety protocols, and report it to the chief officer if needed. How do you stay updated with maritime regulations and procedures? I regularly review weekly notices to mariners. Solus Marpole updates, company circulars, attend safety meetings and onboard training sessions.